In this video, we explore how to run a linear regression in Jamovi. Using the James et al. 2020 dataset, we want to answer the following research question. What is the relationship between morphological awareness and reading comprehension? As specified earlier, we said that morphological awareness is our predictive variable and reading comprehension is our outcome variable. We've actually answered this question already. When we did a correlation analysis, we saw that morphological awareness and reading comprehension are moderately associated with each other. However, we also know that another variable, such as vocabulary, is also a very good predictor of reading comprehension. So what we're really interested in is what is the relationship between morphological awareness and reading comprehension after taking into account other variables that we know are important for reading comprehension. The way we can do this is through using a linear regression. And in this case, because we have more than one predictor, we will use a multiple linear regression. Before we continue in Jamovi, it's useful to specify a model based on your theoretical understanding of the concept. What that means is that our theoretical knowledge should guide the use of statistics to answer research questions. And we should not let the statistical tool guide the research question. Let's see how to run the linear regression in Jamovi. In the analysis tab, you will go to regression and then linear regression. As we already said, our dependent variable will be comprehension. But now, because I've already run through this example in preparation, I realized that the raw score for comprehension, which we've been using so far, does not give us normally distributed residuals. So instead, I've opted to use standardized scores of the comprehension measure because we end up with normally distributed residuals. The other reason why it's useful to use the standardized score is because it already accounts for participants' age. We saw in our correlation analysis that age was positively and moderately related to all the other variables as well. So if we want to have a model that best represents the data, it would be worthwhile to include age. And here, because this measure is standardized, it's already included in the model. Our covariates or our predictors will be vocabulary and our morphological awareness factor score. In Jamovi, we want to then move to assumption checks, where we click collinearity statistics, Shapiro-Wilk, QQ plot of residuals, residual plots, and Cook's distance. Under model fit, you want to specify R, R squared, adjusted R squared, and the F test for overall model fit. Finally, under model coefficients, you want to specify the estimate and its confidence interval, as well as the standardized estimate and its confidence interval. Our output is on the right. It takes a while to load, but eventually it gets there. Before we move to interpret the results, we'll need to check that the assumptions of the test have been met. And we'll do that in the next video.